Hello! Right, I haven't scripted this, so I'm just going to blabber and make mistakes and cough and splutter. So, um, this is the RoPro 12 volt portable stove. Bought this because I'm sick of taking my dinner to work uh, and eating it cold. I usually take chicken and rice and vegetables, and uh, it's not very good on the floor of the cab, it gets a bit icy, and uh, especially in this weather in winter, and um, not very pleasant. So, just typed into Google um, portable stove, asked a few people on Twitter and one of the drivers, one of my fellow cab drivers uh, showed me a link to an American site and I found the equivalent in, in England. So I bought this, um, it was about £35 from the uh, Road Pro people, um, £3 delivery and then I went to Wilkinson and found this cake tin. Now on the cake tin it does say don't put on an element or a hob or something like that but Seeing as this isn't a proper heater that will cook a steak in you know three or four minutes, um, I'd risk it. You know, I think you, you, for some food you'd wrap it in foil or something like that. So that goes in there just quite quite snugly. Sometimes you have to jiggle it around to get a seal, but no. And um, and in there is the charger, conveniently placed away. You pop it in. And uh, what I've found is uh, I've only used it once so far. We're, we're about to fill it up with some food now. Um, is that uh, obviously it does cook around the edges more so you just sort of stick your spoon in and move it around a little bit um, but it, brilliant I mean it, I think it cooked my chicken and right well I didn't cook it it warmed it up in 20 or so minutes so um, but yeah let's uh, get some food in there okay lucky boy came home last night and uh, wife has left me a nice chicken curry and uh, yep there she is spinach the whole works so, and what I, what I usually do to save some time and energy, especially in today's energy prices, is to like bulk cook vegetables and, and rice and have them over three days. So, all the bits and pieces, set them out, cake them out, da -da -da. right, spoon. Uh, okay, let's go for a rice. I think I've read somewhere that a golf ball size of, of rice is good, even if it's brown. So maybe just a tiny bit more, because I'm going to the gym, so I deserve it. Oh, a bit more. <laughs> it looks tiny. Right, vegetables, most important. Okay, lots of vegetables, lots of vegetables. I better save some vegetables for a snack tomorrow. Okay, right, let's get into this crate. Mamma mia, it's a good stuff. Oh, it's whole thighs, excellent. So it'll be nice and flavoursome because of those bones. Probably mix it up later so we, maybe the, um, the liquid transfers the heat around a little more um, efficiently. And um, how many bits of chicken are in there? take two because I'll be extra hungry tonight hmm yeah I've had a big workout today in the gym exhausted so my bones are gonna be a lot of protein um, gonna take up some of those extra bits Doo -doo -doo -doo, over the top okay all right so we have nice sort of leveled off I think and uh, what we'll do I'm gonna speed this up because I'm gonna go get some foil Actually, scratch that. Um, we're going to forget the fall. The reason I was going to put fall on it because it's it's got a strong curry smell, um, and I'm, I'm going to take it in the cab now and uh, and go and have dinner with my sister and go watch a film. And then tonight, obviously, it's going to be left in the car. And um, all the cabbies on Twitter are saying, you know, I was going to stink your car up. Um, I don't think so. It's got a rubber around the edge. It's got a kind of rubber seal. So when you push this down, it's like a you know an underwater camera case. It kind of locks it nice rubber seal so this could probably be a little experiment because probably you know when we're wasting all that foil and uh, cling film so drop that in there like that try and center it and then nice clean close boom din dins ready to go so into the car now I will cleanly edit it so that it all links up with later on okay right so um, we're at work now I've uh, been at work about an hour and um, I think I was out of the car for about five or six hours. Oops, I'll just close that. 
Um, and I went to the cinema and uh, had some dinner with my sister. So the first test was the smell. Got back in the car, nothing. So the thing sealed the, the food in completely, no smell. And if anything's going to smell, it's going to be a curry. So that little test proves you can have it in the car and it's not going not to stink it out. A lot of cab drivers on Twitter saying, what about the smell in there? It's going to smell horrible. Um, so excellent. So that's a great test. Um, so what we're going to do now is the, here it is, the ch charger or the power supply just pulls out the side conveniently like that. It's a really nice long cord and it's going to plop out my um, massive um, transformer or uh, adapter full of in-car chargers for all my gadgets and plop this in. Um, I put it in on its own separate uh, as a single unit because when I've done my in-car kettle in the past, so I'm about to make a cup of tea when I'm at work, um, it's the wire for the kettle as you can see is quite thick. Um, it must have to draw a lot more power than like an iPhone or something. Uh, and when I used it on, on my adapter, which has a much thinner wire, the, the wire almost melted. Obviously, the power going through it was much more. So I recommend if you use this, don't put it in any adapter. Put it straight into the cigarette lighter socket. Um, so there's a little red light. tells you it's on. We're going to leave that for about 10 or 12 minutes because I think the last time it, it took about 20, 25 minutes to warm my food up. So this time we're going to leave it for 10, 12 minutes, have a little check, stir it. And then after another 10 or 12 minutes, we should have hot food. So um, 10 or 12 minutes time, see you in a minute. Right, so it's been about um, almost 15, 12, 15 minutes now. So uh, let's get this puppy open and feel the boxes warm. La 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 la, come to mama. Still a little bit to go, probably give that 15 minutes. Yeah, it's quite a lot of food in there compared to last time. Yeah, plastic fork. I do, <laughs> I do normally carry, I forgot to bring out my, um, my fork, um, my, my normal metal fork. So I, I did this little trick, I've done it before. Um, I went to a kebab shop with my money bag in hand ready and said, um, you know, can I buy a plastic fork for my fruit salad? <laughs> knowing full well they wouldn't charge me if I said for my dinner I'm not buying a kebab so you know I abused their hospitality <laughs> and he was like oh, it's okay you guys I was like, oh, so much. I'm eating fruit salad <laughs> so you try that one yourself ah shut my jacket in it <laughs> right, another 15 minutes um, it's been 35 minutes since I first put this on um, I did after the last time I spoke um, I checked it uh, 15 minutes and it needed some more um, because there was a bit more food in it so now it should be pretty much piping hot mm. So. Mm. it's not mm. it's not piping hot but it's warm um, like I say mm. yep, this was a lot more food than there was last time about twice as much and um, there's two big bits of chicken here. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, it did. I, I think in the instructions somewhere it said somewhere around 40 minutes, 50 minutes for certain things. Um, but they say it does get hot enough that you could like cook a sausage on here or something. I mean, I, I assume something like a frankfurt or not a real sausage. Um, but there it is. I mean, it's it's a complete and utter luxury to have the food I've cooked at home that I the way I like it with the ingredients I want. Um, hot after sort of nine hours of it being in the car so um, definitely get one of these I mean they are I mean I love it chicken mm.